took pictures of the frames and of the women uh, in the pictures. And um, when I got home, I tried to decipher who they might be. So first, I started out by reading um, the really interesting articles about the pictures on the Brighton Hove Museum's um, blog. And following that, I kind of um, kept all the clues, like kept them in the back of my mind. I was trying to see like why was this still a mystery and who could these women be. And I started with um, the older of the two women because I felt like that might be a little easier. I assumed that she was probably in her early 40s. I am a very big fan of historical fashion and hairstyling, um, so I tried to date the picture myself using sort of more fashion and hairstyling terms. So I um, could see that it was belonging to the early Edwardian period. Um, so what I did then was I tried to subtract the age of how old she might be. I could tell that she was probably born in the early 1860s, mm -hmm. and I assumed that she would have been married. So I, using kind of just logic, I assumed she would have gotten married in the early 1880s. Um, so I was looking at um, uh, marriages with the upper class from the early 1880s to the mid 1880s. I could tell also that she was an upper class woman, um, but not necessarily royalty. So I was not trying to restrict myself to just um, royal connections. So I um, was looking at the weddings of upper class um, couples in the early 1880s and the name Rothschild came up but I hadn't found any pictures yet or anything so then I was looking at debutante portraits because I assumed if she was an upper class lady maybe she would have had a debutante portrait or a portrait from when she was young and very beautiful um, and I was also thinking perhaps because I'm southern European myself I was thinking oh she doesn't necessarily look just English maybe she's not necessarily originating from England, um, this woman, because um, she had, you know, like maybe deeper eyes. She had like a, I could kind of identify that, I think. So I was thinking, okay, maybe she's not necessarily English. So I'm not going to limit myself to just English sounding names. And then I was flipping through uh, lists of weddings and uh, I came across the wedding of a, uh, someone called de Rothschild who married Mary Perugia. I found Mary Perugia's portrait from when she was about 18. And I, I gasped because <laughs> it was the same person. Uh, but obviously I had to confirm it because it could have been just like a resemblance. So um, I found um, information about their wedding. It was a massive society event. It was reported widely. There's uh, lithographs and engravings uh, depicting it. Um, a lot of it I found through the um, uh, Rothschild family archive because uh, they're very detailed online as well. And then I found more photographs of her as well from um, slightly later in life as well. Uh, and so I put all the clues together and the mystery was solved.